Paradise Forest to investigate the disease that is endangering amphibians worldwide. It is already responsible for countless extinctions of amphibious species. Pachydiomycosis is a disease caused by the Batrachochytrium dendrobatidis, as you see, of the chytrid family. Chytrids, lack hyphae, are ubiquitous in aquatic environments such as these, and moist soils where it usually breaks down cellulose, chitin and keratin. The disease was first observed in the 1970s in Australia, but was not recognised until the 1990s. Dendrobatidis is what is known as a red pathogen. It spends most of its life as a motile, waterborne zoospore. It survives at temperatures of between 4 and 25 degrees centigrade at a pH range of between 6 and 7. So we should be safe on a day like this. When it comes into contact with an amphibian's skin, it germinates and proliferates throughout the outer layers of the dermis. Zoosporangia then form before exiting back into the environment to infect another host. The fate of the infected animal, if not treated, is not pleasant. Amphibians breathe through their skin. However, the fungus causes hyperplasia, that is, for the skin to thicken and then harden in a process called hyperkeratosis. This disrupts the animal's homeostasis and osmoregulatory functions, ultimately leading to general organ failure and death. Some species of frog typically develop non-lethal infections and may only function as carriers. Non-lethal infections in the bullfrog have been well documented. Alternatively, death may be a result of absorption of a toxic product released by the fungus. Some of the other symptoms of the fungus are convulsions with extension of the hind limbs, slow movements and failure to react to stimuli, for example, seeking shelter or fleeing, abnormal posture and loss of writing reflex, shedding of the skin and reddening of the skin. Currently, the only way to tell whether the fungus is present in a population is to take skin samples and look at them under a microscope in a lab where real-time PCR analysis can be performed. Such global coverage of the disease has been put down to humans transporting infected amphibians and frogs around the world, usually by accident. Climate change is also responsible for the habitats that were previously less favourable for the disease, now becoming habitable. There is currently no certified cure for the disease. However, research has suggested that if the animal's body temperature can be raised, it will cure it of the infection. Some other treatments include the antimicrobial drug itroconazole, skin bacterial top-up with Gantanobacterium lividum, and red root pea. However, this is anecdotal, and there is currently no documented evidence of this working. Catridiomycosis is a notifiable disease according to the World Organization for Animal Health. We can, however, help try and prevent the spread of this disease by doing some of the following.